All right, welcome back to the server tour. If we look over here, we've got the, um, there's the university, there's the baseball field, and right here is the portal. If we head this way, um, you'll see the golf course built by our admin, Justin. Uh, this right here is the, the main house. Um, it's not currently decorated inside, but the, there's a few ender pearls. Uh, th this is ender golf, so you basically throw the ender pearls and you are the ball. So wherever you land, that's, um, that's essentially one swing. And I guess I'll just run you through the course. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to run home to pick up some ender pearls. Uh, well, to make this faster and to demonstrate a little bit of the game. So, we'll just head out this way. Um, this way is to the first hole. Uh, the first nine holes are marked by the red walls, and the last nine holes are marked by the blue walls. So, if you're starting over at the blue set, you're in the wrong spot. Um, so, uh, the number of yards is basically from in between these two uh, red wall blocks to the hole, which is somewhere over there. The the lanes are marked by uh, the torches. So let's just go give this, give this a shot. I'm still in bounds, and just throw up a little bit. And I probably, yep, I overshot. The hole's right here. So it can be pretty tricky if you're not that good at aiming your um, ender pearls. But, um... I have yet to play a game. I'll probably upload a game with a couple of guys on the server in a little bit. Um, as soon as we get a game together. Oh, that was close. Uh, you also do want to be careful and watch your health. Make sure you bring a bunch of food so you don't get too low. Because you do take a bunch of damage. So, like, the, the first few holes aren't terribly tricky. Um, they're just, they are considerably longer than some of the later holes, some, not all. Like, this hole right here, it's like over 400 yards, or sh should be meters technically, they are meters. Uh, one block is one meter. But yeah, you've got this huge drop here, if you're just a spectator you can take the stairs. the holes over here. So I, I'm, I'm just going to run through these. Sorry if I don't really say much. Uh, I'll make some comments about some of the holes if I can come up with anything to say about them. Now you, you'll notice this one's kind of diagonal. Um, so you are going to get a pretty fairly high value for your distance. Um, we don't really measure in a straight line, we just measure with the uh, both the X and the Y displacements and add those together. Ah. So we'll just move right along here. I feel like the pearls curve, um, are, act like arrows and they curve a little bit to the right. So, I don't know, I'll test that on the next hole. So just keep that in mind when you start. Yeah, they, they do go a little bit to the right of the crosshair. And this here, this is a little tricky here. Let me just get down there real quick. So if you fall down here, you can either throw your pearl up and continue playing, or you can take a one-shot penalty and climb the ladder. Let me try to get out of here. There we go. I mean, it, it pretty much is a one-shot penalty either way. So you can see we're back now. Um, the, the house is over there, 
And if we continue this way, we will get to the tenth hole. Now these ones are fairly short, but they can be pretty tricky. It can be difficult to see the hole. Especially like what with all this um weird hilly terrain. This one's straight, but it's long. Of course I land in the water. Uh there are a couple of wolves out here, don't kill them. Don't aggravate them, just if you want one, grab one. I think the next hole's one of the tricky ones. Oh yeah. So this one, it isn't that long compared to some of the earlier ones, but you've got this really big ravine in the middle you'd want to watch out for. Uh, same rules apply with the penalties. I'm climbing the ladder. <laughs> Moving right along. This is hole 14. Uh, th th these ones, I guess, aren't as long as some of the earlier ones, but they are deceptively tricky. Got the yellow sheep over here. Across this bridge, I think this is 15 or 16. 15. Yeah, so again, just make sure you watch your health, you don't get too low. And we're almost there. There's two more. And it's the last one. It's just a little curvy, and I believe you have to cross a little river over here. And that's the end. That is um, Justin's golf course. Um, if you want to play, I believe at this point it's bring your own ender pearls. You might be wondering, well, where am I going to get all these ender pearls? And I will show you in a second. All right, and here we are at the Citadel, uh, way back where we started. And right now we're going to be going to the end. It's a little bit of a journey. You will need a boat for this if you want to get there quickly. So make sure you have one of them. Also keep in mind that as of the 1.3 update, if you break your if you break your boat you will get your boat back, but if you crash it, you're going to lose, you're just going to get the uh, three planks, two sticks. So, just keep that in mind. You want to go this way, there's a small passage through here. Um, that'll enable you to uh, get through easily. Just uh, take care here, there's a lot of small sand islands. So, just try not to run into any of them. I want to go around this one, but not past the one with the trees. You turn left here. Should be coming up soon. I believe it's the next island over. Yep, it's right there. You see the little, um... I'm pretty sure this is it. Ah, 
no, it's this one right here. It's a little stone brick and moss stone building. And someone just built, I guess, a red residency here. Where? There it is. Okay. So here we are. We just climb up on the dock. And let's head down. There are still some dark spots, so just make sure you have whatever tools you need. Um, defenses. Armor would be a good idea. Though it's not completely necessary. Now, this used to be easier. I guess someone set off like a silverfish apocalypse in here. Because the whole room is just destroyed. So, just excuse me if I'm, if I have a little bit of difficulty finding the way. I believe it's just down this water shaft. Through the door. And it's right here. Oh, uh, you'll see the silverfish spawner. There's a couple of chests around here. Don't take anything from them. Don't break the silverfish spawner. And just hop right in. We're in the end. Um, feel free to mine the end stone. Just try not to alter too much of the surface. Um, bringing a pumpkin if this is your first time is a good idea. Uh, Justin builds a little vacation house over here. And I'm going to take you to um, one of the important things. Well, okay, this here is one of the important things. This is the fountain. Um, you just jump in here and you'll go back to the, I believe, the spawn point uh, back near the citadel. But also this thing right here. This is an ender pearl slash experience poor man's farm. Uh, basically, you just come in here, you look at a bunch of vendormen. I guess I'll do a quick demonstration here. But so, yeah, you just look at a bunch, get them all really mad. They'll all teleport to you from all the way across the map. Oh, crap. Make sure you're standing in the middle, otherwise, they'll be able to hit you. Like, what just happened to me? Um. Come on, get over here. So yeah, now that they're all here, um, of course, you, you you would normally want to do this with a lot more endermen. See, these two are almost completely empty. You just look up and count to 39. Three, four, five, six, ten. might die, but the rest should be at good health, so you just pump them. So, that's it. Easy ender pearls, easy experience. This guy's still mad. Let's take care of him. But yeah, that's, um, that's really, those are really the two important things in the end. It's just, you can farm all the end stone. Well, not all of it. Make sure you leave the surface, of course. And enough for everyone else. And uh, there's your pearl farm. See, I just recovered everything pretty much that I uh, used up at the golf course. So let's jump right back in here. You can hit escape. Oh no, okay, so I am back at my house. I think there's a problem with the flooring under this block, which is why I'm looping like this. So let me just relog and I will. Oh, yep, here we go. There's the wiring. Oh man, okay. Let me just do this real quick and I'll be right back and I will show you the city. So here's the portal to the city. I just came from the Spleef Arena, which um, you can get to if you continue going straight from Poseidon's Reach. Just come out here. And uh, this city, ooh, what happened here? This city is our largest um, super project to date. Covers several biomes, um, uses lots of resources, gigantic buildings. It isn't quite finished, but it's probably as finished as it's going to get. 
Um, we've got a few nice buildings. I'm not even sure what some of these are. Um, some of them are taken from real life. Some of them are just out of our own imaginations. Lighthouse, I believe. Yeah, that's a ship built by Hoofing. Uh, military, um, I guess naval ship. This is a uh, concert dome made by Justin. There are some dark spots inside, so you'll get like this guy, the zombie, in there occasionally. And a little park area. Uh, this here is the uh, town hall, also built by Hoofing. And over there is what should be the Empire State Building. This is another building. I will leave an annotation in the video when I find out what building it is. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Um, it is taken from real life. Um, I will look inside some of these buildings later on as I come back. I just want to hit this end first. Because there isn't a whole lot over here, as far as I know. This is Hoofing's police station. Um, yeah, let me just go in this way. You hit the button there. Oof. If you hit the button there, you can go in. And you've got a whole bunch of hallways and uh, rooms, visitation centers. I believe there are holding cells somewhere in the back. Some lounge areas. Out this way is the parking lot. A bunch of us have reserved spots. But yeah, I'll just keep going this way. Interesting. This is this is like a I guess this is a bar area. That's what it looks like. Um, wait, I'll head back here. It's the interrogation room. You can see there's some cells and everything. If we head back here, these these are the prison cells. Very similar to what we have in the prison. Uh, over by the forest base. So let me just run back outside real quick. And I'll continue showing you the city. Alright, we're back outside. So here's the unfinished Empire State Building. If you notice, we have these rails running through a lot of the city. This is just for easy resource transportation so that we don't have to make a million trips to get everything done. So you can see this clearly isn't finished. There's a bunch of spots where the floors should be. And we are looking for people to help finish these up. So if you're not part of the server and you want to join, or if you just recently joined, there are rewards uh, posted on the forums. So I can't remember who this is built by. I think it's Pacilia. Uh, Super Pirate Cupcake. Uh, if it's not, I will leave an annotation with the uh, correct name of the builder. For now, we'll just head out guess this side and we'll take a look this way. This here is a huge cane farm. Um, you get a good inventory worth of cane from this. Um, and this came about back in the uh, 1.2 update when we found out that 1.3 books would require leather. And I was making a library, so we just needed a whole ton of books. So that all came from this. And uh, this farm right here built around a water trench to keep us falling off of the Twin Towers. Started by Nick, uh, finished by uh, me and Justin later on and uh, they're really tall they're actually they're not even really finished yet like that one still needs a roof uh, this one needs the antenna on top they probably haven't reached their maximum height but they are really tall that's the old sky limit right there and you can see it continues that that much farther up so if we look over here we've got these two uh, warehouses. 
uh, containing mostly raw materials that we just dug up from the project, but also some other stuff that we brought over that we may need later on. If you do decide to build anything here, absolutely feel free to take from these, from like any of these chests. There's um, a whole bunch of coal for smelting, so you don't have to worry about that. And there's, um, oh crap, there's a whole bunch of miscellaneous things up there in the chests. It's a whole lot of gravel, dirt, lots of cobblestone, and smooth stone. Please don't take anything if you're not going to be building for the city. Because that's what all this here is for. Now if we look here on the left, oh okay, on the right, this is another building from real life that I again can't no name off the top of my head. I will put the name in an annotation. I don't even know who this was by, this just sort of sprung up while I was offline one day. Um, so yeah, I'll, I will try to find that out for you guys. Over here is Justin's hotel. It's got a really interesting shape, cool design. I really like the way it came out. So we'll just run inside real quick. Bottom floor is empty. And I believe the rooms are set up, or at least they are established, but they aren't furnished yet, except for some beds. I don't even know if all of them have beds, but... So yeah, this is another thing that could use finishing up. Um, yeah, yeah, this floor doesn't even have anything inside of it, except for the rooms. Let me just run up on the roof real quick. I can show you something cool. We have a pool outside in the back. Here's the really high diving board. Uh, be careful, make sure you fall in the deep end only. Which is right over here. And see so we have uh, different diving boards of various heights. And a hot tub. Um, of course, powered by lava at the bottom. So I'll just jump in here real quick. And this is the back of the hotel. You can, of course, get through here through the ground floor. See your diving boards. And over there is... Oh, what happened here? This should be a volcano. Clearly... Oh, I see what happened. Someone dumped water up at the top of this. This is new. I have to... Th this needs to be fixed. So, my apologies for a non-functioning volcano on the tour of the server. But yeah, that looks like that's exactly what happened here. Someone just dumped a bucket of water up top. Or someone decided to dig up here. And figured the easiest way to get rid of all the lava was to pour water on it. Just destroying the landscape and the volcano. There is a hidden mushroom farm somewhere under this volcano. I'll leave it to you guys to find it. Good luck. Um... Right, moving along. We had an issue with the server. Um, there was a huge storm in Maryland, and um, both the uh, the server and the backup got fried. So this was um, originally a finished um, swimming pool area built by Hoofing, and in we had to revert. We lost about a week of progress. Um, from the uh, from the other backup that Justin had, so the whole thing got erased and the pool's gone. So this does need to be finished. It will be finished soon, hopefully. And let me just run over here here real quick. This is a library built by me, uh, the one that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I designed it in Creative and then pretty much just transferred it over and adapted it a little bit for this server. So I'll just run inside. See, here's all the leftover books and shelves. These should be in the warehouse. I will move them later. I also did do intend on putting some enchanting tables in the back. Like possibly replacing this with an enchanting table. It won't be a very high power table, of course. But, um, it'll be there. 
just b because it's a library and it should be. Someone's been through here and keeps leaving this stuff open, and it's really bothering me. So I'll just run out the back here. If we go down... Oh, that's right. I was waiting for jungle stairs to come out before finishing this, so I guess I'll finish this now. Uh, this would be a basement. Um, it never really did get finished. Piston door. I just walk over the plate, and there's another plate out here. And then I'll just run, uh, run up and show you upstairs. Um, another brick fences, the huge fountain in the middle, and just more bookshelves and seating areas. So, if you run back outside, I guess we'll go at the back. Um, over here was a school building started by a guy named Hutch. Uh, never really got finished. He doesn't really come on anymore. Wasn't that big anyway. But it's there. The frame's there. Definitely could be expanded. So that's another thing to work on. And across that bridge over there is how you'd normally get to it, but it's on uh, Joe's house that he built before we expanded the city back here. And then we have an NPC village. Uh, it, it is pretty populated. Someone did come through a few days ago and killed all the golems to farm iron, and we don't like that because I have yet to see another golem spawn in here. So just keep that in mind. We do we did add some custom buildings to increase the uh, villager spawn rates. Um, it is still under construction. We are still expanding it, of course. These villagers are capable of trading. So if you have emeralds or if you want emeralds, absolutely just go up to one of them and uh, talk to it, and it'll give you an offer. Like this one, you can enchant. A chess play for two for two emeralds. So, and yes, yeah, some of them have multiple traits too. So make sure you check for that. But oh, and then there are there is a housing project over here which is new, and I I have yet to explore this part actually. So I'll just run over here and do that. This is a building by the same person that was that killed the golems. He should have taken it down by now. Um, these look like Justin houses. I'm, I'd be willing to bet Justin built these. They're similar to the ones at the forest base. Not furnished yet, but, you know, they are nice, and I guess if you want to add beds, just ask Justin. And he should say yes. So, of course, they're all different styles, using all the different woods, uh, use some bricks and cobblestone, etc. And that's pretty much the entire city. So I think that'll be it for this episode. Um, you should be completely up to date by now for the server. So if anything new gets built, uh, once that all gets done, I will make another video on it and add that to the server door. But for now, that's all. Um, oh, okay, I, I do also want to mention just one last thing. There is a subway system that runs underneath the city. I didn't show it to you because I actually wanted to show you the rest of the city. But, um, there's some, like, stone and glass structures with some stone brick stairs that lead underground. Um, like this one right over here. Those are the subway stations, and I guess I'll just run down there real quick to show you how they work. Um, they're fairly similar to the nether rails. In that you just place your card at the back of the... Uh, oh, what happened here? Okay, that needs to be fixed. Uh, you just place your card at the back of the unpowered rails and then hit the button and you go. So, what you see here when you reach a station, these signs indicate your current stop. And the signs up top indicate the stops that are further down the line. So you just go this way. The next stop, I believe, is the library. So uh, the cart's going to go. We're going to stop. We're going to get out. And at the top, we should be right next to the library. 
Um, we did leave a couple of windows open as we passed through ravines and caves and such. So this here's the library. Make sure you you move a little bit when you break your carts now. So just make sure you don't forget to pick them up. And we come out here, and the library is right here. So now that's it for the server tour. Um, I guess I'll see all you guys later.